Here we have a sad math question. Okay, let's go to the question. One of the factors of for 2x to the third power positive 42, x square positive 208x is x positive b, where b is a positive constant. What is the smallest possible value of b? Okay, here uh, for the given uh, polynomial, x positive b is one of the factors and we have to find the smallest possible value of b and also b is a positive constant. Okay, so for that, we have to factor uh, the given uh, polynomial. So let me write the given polynomial. There is 2x cubed positive 42x squared uh, positive uh, 208x. Okay, so to factor uh, this polynomial, uh, let's find the greatest common divisor uh, for all the terms in this uh, polynomial. So the greatest common divisor is uh, 2x because here uh, 2, 42 is uh, an even number. It's uh, also a multiple of 2 and this also a multiple of 2 and all the three terms contain x. So 2x is the greatest common divisor for all the terms in this expression. So we can factor 2x out. So when I factor 2x out, so what I have left in the first term? For that, I have to divide the first term 2x cubed by the one I factor out, that is 2x. When I divide this 2x cubed by 2x, this 2, 2 will cancel out. When I divide x cubed by x, I am getting x square. Okay, so here. And to know what I have left in the second term, I have to divide this 42x square, the second term, by the one I factor out, that is 2x. So when I divide 42 by 2, I am getting 21. When I am dividing x square by x, I am just getting x. So 21x. And to know what I have left in the third term, I have to divide uh, the third term, 208x uh, by the one I factor, that is 2x. So when I divide 208 by 2, I am getting 104 and this xx uh, will cancel out. So I have 104 over here. Okay, so even uh, to check uh, like uh, the, whether we are factored correctly, we can distribute this 2x to this, 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 and we can, uh, we have to get the uh, original expression. Okay, so now, uh, so now we have a quadratic expression uh, inside the parenthesis. So we should uh, try to factor uh, this quadratic expression. So here uh, the coefficient of x squared inside the parenthesis is this one. So to factor this quadratic expression, just consider the constant term over here. So what is it? It's positive 104. Now we have to get two factors for this positive 104. So the product of the two factors must be equal to 104. And when I find the sum of the two factors, it must be equal to the middle term. I mean, the coefficient of x that is positive 21. So I think uh, positive 8 and positive 13 will work. So when I multiply positive 8 and positive 13, that is positive times positive will become positive and 8 times 13 will become 104. So when I add uh, positive 8 and positive 13, I'm getting positive 21. So which is a coefficient of x. So the two factors of this uh, quadratic expression are uh, x positive 8 times x positive 13. And also, so here 2 is a number and uh, here this factor contains x and even this factor x can be written as uh, x positive 0. So because I have to get uh, each factor which contains x in the form of x positive b. So that I can compare and uh, I'll be able to get the value of b. So x can be written as x positive 0 because even if it signifies x positive 0, uh, uh, still we get just x. So x positive 0 and the next factor is x positive 8 and the next factor is x positive 13. Okay, so we can ignore uh, the number, the factor 2, because it's just a number. We have to consider only the factors which contain x, because uh, x positive to b is uh, one of the factors of this uh, polynomial. Okay, so when I compare this x positive to b and x positive to 0, so at the place of b, what value do I have over here? I have b is equal to 0. In case, if I compare x positive to b and x positive to 8, at the place of b, what do I have? I'm having 8, so b is equal to 8. From the second factor. If I compare x positive b and the third factor x positive 13, for b I am getting 13. So I am getting uh, three values for b, 0, 8 and 13. So when I compare uh, the three factors of the given expression uh, with x positive b, so we have three values for b. So uh, we have to take the smallest possible value of b. So at the same time, please keep it in mind, b is a positive constant. So since b is a positive constant, we can reject b equals to 0. So 0 cannot be considered as a positive constant, it's a neutral value. So uh, we have only two values left for b. One is 8, another one is 13, and both of them are positive constants. But we have to get the smallest possible value of b. So 8 is the smallest possible value of b. So the answer for this question is 8.